Welcome back to the show. Class Act is on the way. If you want to take on Aoife Callan, just text us on 51552. We're looking for an adult to see if they can beat the youth of the country and the Kilkenny woman who's defending her title. Let's play how's, let's talk how's the country this morning and say good morning to Mark Graham. Good morning, Hector. How are you? How is Happy your country? Happy birthday to yourself, Alan and Amy and all the team. Well done on a year. Thanks very much. How's your country this morning? It's absolutely fantastic, Hector. I'm a bit wrecked now, to tell you the truth. Right. But, uh, what I'm doing is, it's kind of like a protest of positivity. I like that. I like yeah. that. I went up to the bank in May and I looked for a deposit and they wouldn't give it to me. And I went mm. to another bank and looked for a deposit for a house. Okay. You know? And I, I had a refundable deposit on the house and uh, I couldn't get it. And I thought now that working like a greyhound that I'd be able to get a deposit for a house. Okay. Because I have a job. I have a decent job. But uh, I couldn't get the money and things aren't bad but I had sold my VW camper van in order to get a few bob together to get a house and it was kind of me pride and joy. Well of course you had this as a sort of a dream it's in the it was in your it was in your you know you were working to, forward to get a house it was what we all strive to do in this country but you're getting knocked back every bank you went to. Absolutely. And having sold the camper van I decided do you know what feck the whole lot I'm going to get another van and I'm going to go on the road for a year. That's the spirit. And that's what I'm doing. You've got a mobile, you've got a mobile house on wheels exactly. and you're, you're about to try and go to a year of festivals in Ireland. How are you going to do it? That's the crack. Well, you think it's difficult and I thought that after a while doing it, I might be kind of fed up and tired of doing it. But you know what? I look forward to it every time I'm heading off because it's a gift driving around the country. Even in the lashings of rain driving through Connemara two weeks ago, I was looking around myself and I was saying, how bad? Yeah. How bad is that? You know, it's absolutely fantastic. Okay, when did you start, Mark? I started off, well, do you know where I started? I thought it was kind of apt. I went to Loch Derg and I did a pilgrimage. To find yourself. Exactly. Well, it was kind of like, you know, the old quest when knights were heading off. Yes. I decided I'd go on a spiritual journey first. So I starved myself and uh, I deprived myself of sleep in Loch Derg. You did the whole lot. Yeah, and it was good crack. I met a woman up there and she was from Fermanagh. And she was great crack. Now she was eating the fags up there because you're not allowed to eat and you're not allowed to sleep for a while. But you're allowed to smoke, smoke cigarettes. You smoke, yeah, you can. <laughs> and a lot of people turn to the fags up there just to get themselves through it. You know. Tell me about day three of the. Did you start hallucinating? Did you start? Were you scared, were you spiritually enlightened? Um, I felt when I was driving up there. Right, I'm from Tremor in County Waterford, and I had to, to drive up to, to Donegal. And I stopped off in Dublin on the way up because I was feeling tired. You know, just to pull in. But on the way back, I was feeling strangely energised to tell you the truth I like it but I did I did uh, on the the last the last night just before 10 o'clock before we were allowed to go to bed they were chanting in the church and I did kind of I did have a bit of a hallucination, uh, hallucination in the church but in a good way it, 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 it felt interesting and positive but one of the very positive one of the funny things that happened there was uh, there was a lot of teachers there they were still on their holidays in August and there was one teacher sitting down she was chewing on a fag and uh, there was two young girls that we were talking to myself and this teacher and they were there because their leaving certs were coming out in two weeks time okay. after that so they you know, they were kind of offering up their pilgrimage for their leaving certs mm-hmm. and as they walked off the teacher took a drag on the fag and she said it's a bit late trying to fatten a pig and he's already slaughtered <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it didn't seem to do him any harm anyway. Brian where have you been since you started your odyssey um, well I've, I've been all over the country I've been from Donegal literally down to, to Cape Clear off the coast of Cork so from as south as you can go right up as, as Just give us some of the festivals you've been to just list off some of them really well, quickly I'll tell the top three that I have for September and I'm after being at uh, 17 and a half festivals in September I'm the sixth best bog snorkeler in Ireland I love it we know and we had them on here that was up in Monaghan yep. yeah Declan and the lads in Monaghan up at the cottage yep. the crack, the brilliant buzz all together the storytelling festival down on Cape Clear is an amazing thing. There you go. Yeah, and that's that's really good. And it's something to overlook. And for, you know, I was thinking storytelling. You know, what's that that's the way we were 50, 60, 100 years ago. And it's brilliant crack. And you go in by the fireside, you listen to stories, and then there's a session in the pub. And Superb. the moral of the story that I learned is don't go drinking rum with sailors on an island off the coast of Cork. <laughs> that's the thing. But one of the things about the bog snorkeling as well, and I think one of the reasons it's great, it's not just the snorkeling, but when you get people to walk across fields in flippers, they look stupid. Right, there's a great leveller. You could have El Max Pearson in a snorkel and mask and a pair of flippers and you got her to walk across the field. I rock, rock like across the field. You, know, you, can't, a, a, you can't help it. A murky bod with a player flipper. It's a great grounder. It is. It is. Great leveller. <laughs> great leveller altogether. Superb. Yeah. What's the name of your website so co- people can follow you on your trip around 156 or 160 festivals around the country? It's a year of festivals in Ireland. A year of festivals, festivals in Ireland.com. Ireland. Where are you heading to next week or this weekend? 
Well, this weekend I'm heading down to Kinsale. There's a piece of me, isn't it? This is tough life for us. I'm heading down to Kinsale first. Um, there's a food festival on in Kinsale. There's also a music, an early music festival on in East. Fantastic. Brian, there's will a you do... festival on in the Neuer Valley in Waterford. So will you do us a favour when you come, come close to us here in Galway? I'd love to find out and I'd love to talk to more about the places you've been and the people you've met because it sounds to me as if you're going to get a snapshot of this country which pe- you know people don't even know that's out there. Absolutely. I'm enjoying it. It's brilliant, Hector, and I'd recommend it to anybody. And Brian, Go thank to you. Know, you. Thanks for not taking for taking a knock back in the bank and standing up and doing your own thing, and that's what yeah. we need more of. No problem, Hector. Cheers, Thanks Brian. Thank talk you very you. much. Keep our lit. Keep our lit. There Go you go. A Waterford man talking, going to every festival in the country. It's half past seven now on Breakfast with Hector. Five one five five two is the text to take on Eva Callan on Clatsack. Let's go back to Evan McClafferty now for the news headlines at half seven.